Hi there, welcome back to lesson nine. In this lesson, I'm going to be reinforcing using the is subject column in order to display um, different things on your map. I uh, think our map needs to have your rack tinted a different color from the background to make it stand out. And I'm going to use an is subject column to do that. So let's click on the pencil icon to edit the layer. Click on your attribute table, add a column, is subject and text and change the width to 10. Okay, that. that's going to be added all the way over here on the right hand side. Now I just want to scroll down to rack which I know is 108. There it is. Type in yes, hit enter, click on the pencil and save. Okay, so now we've got yes in the is subject column on the rack. We just need to add a rule based style for our country polygons layer now. So rule based as before, double click on the click on the simple fill, turn off the pen and click on the fill and I'm going to select the subject land. Okay that, okay that. And first of all, I need to add in a expression. So as before, click on the fields and values list, select is subject equals, and then click on all unique and double click on yes. Okay that, and then okay that. If you click apply now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna turn off all the other countries. <clears throat> because it's a rule based layer now, and we've only set a rule for the subject country, everything else has been turned off. So we now need to add in another style purely for the background countries, everything that isn't Iraq. So no pen, color fill, use the magnifying glass and select land. Okay that, okay that. Now when I click apply, you'll see that what it's done is it's covered in Iraq in the same country color as the rest of the countries. Now the reason for this is that these rules style in order. So in the order we've done it here, we've done it is subject first and then styled it the other colors next. Now this color is overriding this color. So in order to get it the right way around, just click on the is subject and drag it below. So now it comes after so it will style these countries first and then style Iraq second. So we hit apply now, we should see the subject color back in there. Perfect. Now, what I also want to do is show you how to use the is subject layer to turn on and off things on your map. Just like we used it for the um, states, we're gonna use it again for the cities because I think the map is looking a little cluttered. So on the Iraq cities, double click, and you can see we've got our feature class styling here. What we need to do in here is add in the is feature uh, rule as well. So in order to do that first, we can add in another column. You might notice that your um, table, attribute table looks um, a lot more cluttered than mine. I've basically removed as many columns as necessary in order to be able to see the name and the is subject column at the same time. <laughs> um, it's simply done just by clicking the edit icon and then clicking on the column with the X next to it and then you can remove a column simply by highlighting it here. So if I go OK, there you go, it's deleting the scale rank column. It's as simple as that. It just makes it easier to manage and you don't have 70 columns. So we're going to add in an is subject column. Again, it's a text and a width of 10. And all we're going to do now, is, like I said, is the towns that we want to see, we're just going to type in yes. So we'll have Kirkuk, we'll have our Kut, we'll have Kabbalah, we'll have Tikrit, we'll have Dahuk, Fallujah, Mosul, and Basra. Whichever ones you want to do, this is purely just to show you. So save that. And now it hasn't done anything to your map because we still have to add in to the rule the is subject equals yes expression. So double clicking on Iraq, 
and then double click on the first rule. Now up here, again, click on the three buttons as before. Now in here, we're saying feature class equals capital. Now to add in the is subject column rule as well, we need to write an and in capital letters. Go to the field is subject, double click, equals yes. Now this rule is now saying if it is a capital and the subject equals yes, then display it. I'm just going to copy this part of the um, expression because we're going to use it again in all of the other cities as well. So we'll copy that, just Command C, OK that, OK that. And now in here we can just double click and paste it in there. OK, double click and paste it in there. OK, double click, paste it in there. OK, last one double click, paste it in there, OK. Now hit apply and you'll see it has turned off the majority of the labels and is only showing the ones that we have added these subject column to. And that's it. It's very simple but very effective and because it's generic it doesn't have, it doesn't, it's not looking for a city name, it's not looking for a country name. You can use that style and save it and then use it for any other map you do as long as you introduce an is subject column into your attribute table.